um, South Sask Ready was um, brought together in the context of coal transition. So we, we do have very serious issues here um, in and around the Cornac uh, Poplar River um, coal mine and uh, the plant scheduled to shut down in 2030. Um, so that leaves us seven years to basically mitigate those negative economic effects that we're going to face. Um, so in our partnership, we have uh, nine communities um, for anyone counting, that's uh, nine mayors and reeves, 54 councillors, several organizations. And um, what we've noticed that obviously there's competing interest between different communities. So um, it was a, uh, I really have to tip the hat to our board on keeping focused on uh, what our goal is. Um, we did receive $2 million from the province uh, where we designed a program um, that would mitigate the negative economic effects of coal transition. And um, that involved having a return on investment for any of the money that we gave out to uh, entities within the region. So, um, and the reason why we went for a uh, return on investment is because um, to the effects, of course, of coal transition will be uh, loss of population and then um, loss of the property tax base. And those two things are mitigated by, by obviously having population and workers because uh, again, Charlene alluded to this um, and Ray alluded to this as well. So with the declining population comes, um, you know, loss of important services like healthcare, education, um, businesses, uh, other government services. So it's, it's very serious in the sense that um, you know, we, we face a very real prospect of people being bused to, you know, an hour away to go to school or to get your groceries and things like that. So um, that's one of the things that we did to try to mitigate the negative economic effects is to actually have a return on investment um, in all the things that we do. Um, again, very proud of the group. Um, everyone, for the most part, works very well together. And uh, we've uh, um, got a common goal. So in receiving this award, um, it's, it's been a, a really major occurrence for us. So um, being recognized provincially for collaboration and um, the, the successes that we've had so far has actually turned into another provincial award uh, through uh, Saskatchewan Economic Development Alliance, um, which again precipitated uh, a national award for our feasibility study and then an international award that was announced two weeks ago in Vienna. Um, so the, uh, I, I attribute the uh, impetus to us being recognized internationally um, at the start from uh, getting this regional collaboration award. So it's been very, very, um, very important for us. Um, so on that, I'd like to show the video um, that, uh, that was done for us. Um, and it really explains kind of the, the situation that we're in. Um, the importance of recognition of this award um, in terms of collaboration with other levels of government, um, more funding needed in the area, and getting some traction on how we how we get a return on investment from everything that we do here. So uh, without further ado, I'm just going to share the screen here. Okay, and I'll just hit play here. In probably about 2018, the uh, talks began to be more real as far as the closure of the Sass Power Poplar River Power Station and the Westmoreland Mine. When I joined the Town of Cornac in 2016, I learned a lot very quickly about the changes to the federal regulations on coal and coal emissions. Those two industries were the biggest employers of our region. We realized that there was a very short timeline for us on when the power station and the Westmoreland mine would close. We were given a date of 2030. Obviously it was a bit of a shock once we got the news that this plant would be closing down earlier than what we were expecting. About 300 jobs will be lost. Not only that, you will likely lose some of the business people that are in the area as well. And so that motivated the council to reach out to the other communities in the region that were also listed in that impact study and start to talk about what do we need to do next. The biggest thing that study did is it gave us four areas to focus on, agriculture or agri-value green energy, manufacturing, and tourism. My hope is we can develop a long-term economic partnership with these communities. This means that the next generation of people that live here, the kids that are going to school now, 
will have job opportunities to stay here. This is an area that has always um, looked after each other, and I think we will do that going forward. So as you can see, that was a uh, just an absolutely fantastic production. Uh, this video we use it quite often. Um, as you can see, it was a, a, it's quite an emotional experience here um, in this region, and um, this award meant so much. And, and recognizing kind of the uh, um, the emotion around what's happening here in terms of coal transition. And again, uh, the regional award was a real impetus for us to really get the attention that we need um, from other levels of government, um, from surrounding communities. Um, just to sort of backtrack and let you know of uh, some of the dire um, um, economic effects we're facing. So um, for instance, the town of Cornac, which is the uh, um, kind of the economic hub in the area and the most affected community. So they're looking at an 89% uh, drop in uh, household income, a 67% drop in population. Um, and again, um, loss of businesses, uh, loss of people, um, loss of the tax base. So if you don't have a tax base, you're not gonna be able to pay for those important community projects um, and programs and infrastructure. So again, um, this, uh, this award really brought some great attention to what we're trying to uh, accomplish here. And uh, again, the impetus for recognition uh, nationally and internationally, um, which is really important for business uh, uh, and investment attraction. So that's kind of uh, all I have on that. Uh, I just want to say the, uh, the folks at SUMA um, have been fantastic. Uh, they'll work with you the whole way through. Um, and I think one of the most important things to do in terms of regional collaboration, um, I, I guess the point is trying to solve a problem and um, coming up with solutions that, that work. Um, so I think that's you know something really important to reflect in any application you put in. But that's all I have.